Hi everyone, welcome. My name's Andrea. In today's video, I'm very, very excited because I bring to you Dr. Carla Hannaford. And if you don't know who she is, I think you should know any teacher, any educator, grandparent, anybody who works with children needs to know who this woman is. She is the author of four different books. She is an international educator. She teaches in over 51 countries. Her work has been published in over a thousand scientific journals. She is a neurophysiologist, but over the years, when she has been studying the brain and how it functions with the body. She now calls herself a biologist because she said you cannot ignore the heart in dealing with anything to do with the brain. And in today's video, we're going to talk about the tendon guard reflex and its correlation to toe walking. But she also talks about some other things that could be impacted by toe walking and why it happens, what happens, what goes wrong, and possible implications. If you are enjoying this video and getting some good information out of it, please share it with other people you know, like-minded individuals, anybody you think that the content would be helpful for, please share it, comment below, and do subscribe to the channel. I just want to show you her books quickly. So this one, not sure if you can tell how much I love her. This is, this is one of two copies of the same book that I have because once I actually lost this during a move. If you know me well, you know I've moved around a lot and went and bought another one because honestly, in teaching, her books are like my Bibles. And in 20 years of teaching, what she teaches doesn't go out of style. As a teacher, I know there's always the latest and greatest research based this and that, that you know may or may not help student learning. But all of what she teaches doesn't go out of style and is so relevant for every single child. During this video, yay, Carly gives me a shout out because I've been sharing my movement of the month with her as sort of a expert feedback and she gives them green thumbs up go in saying that the movements I'm doing are spot on and really great for children and actually anybody with the brain. So watch for that shout out. And if you want the miracle movement of the month, which actually helps to counteract the toe walking, make sure to go to my website, andreafry.us, and you can get it for free. And I will also send you a new movement each month. And the PDF is actually really helpful. I designed it with myself in mind, with what I wish I had had when I was first learning all this stuff. If you just focus on one movement a month and really understand why you're doing it and play with it with the kids, it's just an easier digestible way to start incorporating purposeful movement into your daily routine with your children, with yourself, with your students. All right, so here we go with Dr. Carla Hannaford's explanation of the toe walking. Enjoy. Yes, okay. So talking about when they come and then uh, they come to our school. So can you just touch down, we talked about this a little bit yesterday, but one of the reflex attending guard and just talk about implications for that and what it looks like unintegrated? Okay. So we have a very special reflex that occurs uh, when we're under stress, and what it does is get the gastrocnemius muscle, which is the big muscle in the back of your calf, the calf muscle, ready to either run or fight. So it's getting it ready, and so what happens is we do a thing called a tendon guard reflex. It tightens up those tendons, the Achilles tendon that goes to the heel, and the, the tendon that goes behind the knee and hooks to the femur bone from the gastrocnemius. So the back of the knees kind of lock, okay? And so you're ready to fight or flee. Now the problem with that is, is if you're not fighting or fleeing, it pushes the body off balance. So it either pushes it forward 
or backwards. And forward, you're getting ready to fight, but it's pushing the, the body forward, or you're getting ready to run if you're pushed back. And what happens is all these muscles in the back tighten up, you know, to hold your head up because you're forward and this head is three pounds and it's heavy, or back, so it, they, these muscles all tighten up. And as they tighten up, they pull down on the spinal cord. Okay, and what can happen in as we get more have more and more stress is that you get slip discs, you get back problems, major back problems from that. So this tendon guard reflex, you know, it's getting you ready to fight or flee. Now, one of the things we're seeing in children today, and and some adults, but mostly children, is what we call toe walking. And this is where they're way up on their toes, and it's because that tendon guard reflex is so tight. The back of the, the knees, the, the, ten, the Achilles tendon are really, really tight. Now, we do that as a survival thing, because if we don't do that, if we take off and we're not ready, it can tear the Achilles tendon, and then you get foot drop, and you can't fight, you can't run, you're dead. But in our children that are up on these toes like that, they are in fight or flight. It's a, a big indicator, this toe walking. And so getting the heels down is really important. And um, things like rebounders, or just having the children notice getting their heels down. Uh, I love that you're doing uh, this awkward turkey <laughs> exercise that is getting, having the kids walk around in their heels. And also, what you can do is play with the children where you put your foot against their feet and then work their, their feet so that those heels have to come down and so that there's more flexibility in the feet. And um, we do a thing called foot flex where you're holding the Achilles tendon and the tendons behind the knee and having the children point and then extend their feet. But the more you can get that extension on that feet so that the heels are down, the better. Mm. Again, they can stand on the edge of a, chi of a uh, step and get their heels down too. Yeah, that's and a this one. not only applies to children, but also to adults. Uh, you know, when I think about how many oh high heels I've worn in my life, <laughs> when I'm doing tendon guard reflex, you know, it's amazing. That <laughs> but so, one of the things we see, it does affect their ability to language, to speak, because they're up on their toes, they're running from the saber-toothed tiger, they're not gonna talk. And so we see a delay in languaging. And the more you can get that heel down, the more they'll be able to language. Yeah, if you're running across the savanna with a tiger after you, you're not gonna talk. <laughs> you're not gonna learn. So yeah, it makes it much more difficult to learn. Anytime we're stressed, this is important to know. Anytime we're stressed, the neocortex shuts down by 75 to 85%. We can't take information in. The other thing that we know is that if there is any stress on the system, it causes these special groups, the acetyl or methane group, to cause the DNA to, to close up. The coding cannot occur on the messenger RNA to form proteins for memory. So whenever we're stressed, our memory goes way down, you know, and any stress stops those new nerve cells from growing in our, in our head, you know, that we're growing, that we have the ability to grow. Okay, once again, if you enjoyed this video, please, please, please subscribe to the channel, share it with other people that you think it might be relevant for, and make sure to check out my movements that I do. I give a movement of the month. Ooh.